What's good, man? Kanye West has been restricted from tweeting. We about to get into it. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe, and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Now, apparently, Kanye West has been restricted from tweeting after he allegedly shared a journalist number. Now, Hot New Hip Hop is reporting this. Now, it's been a whole lot going on. You see behind me, Kanye pissing on the Grammy, as well as he's talked about a lot of different things from trying to connect with Drake, asking for an apology till today. He's going in on the music industry, which a lot of people are in agreement with what he did say uh, about the music industry. But I guess he might have pissed some people off. And apparently his Twitter has been shut down. Now, according to CNN, Kanye West was put on notice by Twitter after they reportedly restricted him from tweeting uh, because he actually released the number of a uh, Forbes magazine's chief content officer's contact information, including the phone number. Now, if any of my fans want to call a white supremacist, this is the editor of Forbes. Basically, he let people know that was the number. Now, the article also says in the tweet that followed, he added that this is simply Twitter's policy when someone you know tries doxing someone else. Also, FWIW, this is how Twitter always enforces its rules. The company hides tweets that breaks its rules from public view and locks the account until the owner logs on and or removes the tweet. Darcy added now Kanye last tweeted about an hour ago uh, and I read this on my last video where he was talking about 90% of the record contracts on the planet are still on a royalty a standard recording deal and basically he's saying it's a trap you never recoup you all got all these hidden costs that they come out with these distribution fees and all of that and we've been knew that the industry was a joke we've been knew the industry was raping people remember the locks had the infamous interlude where they was talking about Diddy, but they were calling it raping you records. We've heard about how Jerry Heller did people. We've heard about a lot of other names in the industry who've taken advantage of artists, not just hip hop, but all genres of music. A lot of people have been taken advantage of. So Kanye been going in with that being said, now that his Twitter is down because his Twitter seems to be the main place where he actually gets out and he talks about, you know, what he's feeling campaign wise, political wise, church wise, whatever Kanye wants to get off his chest. He normally goes to Twitter. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see what approach Kanye tech takes next. But for the first time in a long time, a lot of people are coming out in defense of Kanye and basically saying that Kanye is correct and we need paid. Um, you can go watch the video of that that's behind me. He posted that earlier, as well as when he posted that video of him urinating on the Grammy. He said, trust me, I won't stop. So it seems that Kanye doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. I just want to know how you're going to get the information out there, cuz. But get in the comment section what y'all... What y'all think about Kanye losing his Twitter account? Also, what do you think about all of the things that Kanye has been talking about dealing with the music? Okay, just dealing with the music. Because he did just post another video uh, that I want to say academics reposted for him. And it was a trailer of people who, you know, someone who put together a bunch of lyrics from a lot of different artists that basically describe what artists go through with these deals with the record execs and the record companies. But... Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. I'm a mighty the ruler. You can also see Kanye's entire contract and the things that he's fighting for on his Twitter. Uh, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Uh, get in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this video, man. Peace.